Now, Zahir Haki is revealed and been exposed. So, you believe in the Trinity? If you don't mind me asking why, why? Because the Trinity is. is, is yes, God. we just came okay. to God, it's God after Maghrib. The word Trinity is not in the Bible. Oh, yeah, 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 I understand. God described God when is Maghrib. As Hebrew prophecy goes, time, goes by and everything. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. The Trinity is revealed. Okay. The Old Testament, the New Testament, the Church, and the Father is revealed. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Is that correct? Yes, that's yeah, yeah. So the Trinity I, 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 is not. Are you French and Trinity? The, the word Trinity is not there. Yeah, I understand, yeah. yeah. But the you're saying the concept. Trinity. Definitely Not to put you on the spot. If you have it, you have it. If you don't, where is it? The concept. The concept is going through the Old Testament, New Testament. It's all like like when Jesus was baptized, heaven is open. Yeah. And a, he said a voice spoke from heaven. He said, "This is my son." Uh -huh. Have peace, please. Right? Yeah. In the Old Testament, Abraham said, no, no. "You know, if, if you take this uh, the baptism, when the heavens open, the voice, the dove, and Jesus in the water." This this would say that all three of them were present. Okay, but when you say the Trinity, that all three of them are fully God. God is one, but all these three are co-equal, co-eternal. How do you get that from the the baptism event? Because because Jesus is the, is the physical. Yeah. It's, it's God's word in flesh. Yeah. God with us. Yeah. In God's voice. Yes. God is kind of, God can do anything, God can do everything, we can't limit. Me as a God's creation, I can't limit what he can do. You can only limit, if you say he can't do it, then you've given him a limit. Can he stop existing? Huh? Can he stop existing? Yeah. I know where you're going with that, you're saying he died on the cross. No, 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 no. Just, just full stop, can Straight God stop existing? God can't stop ah, he's, he's, he's before, now, now. I agree with you. Yeah. So, so when you say you can't put limits on God, there are limits which you can put on him, which would something which would make him not God. Like, for example, if someone said, "Can God be become weak? Can he become forgetful?" No, because that's not talking about God. When we say God, he has ne uh, necessary attributes and names, like you said, eternal, the first without beginning, the last without an end, all knowing, all powerful. So. Because when you say don't put limits on God, I know usually the conversation what happens is when the Muslim says how can God become a man, the Christian will say don't put limits on God. But there is limits. There, I won't say there's limits. On, is there limits to say again? Like something, something which you say about God is, is not true. Like God's all powerful. We don't limit him in that way. He's all knowing. We don't limit him that way. But you can't attribute to God something which would make him not God. But in 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 the sense of of Jesus, because we're talking about Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the sense of Jesus being God, Jesus is, Jesus is God. Why he he's God's word spoken. Okay. God's word manifests flesh uh -huh. to be with man, to show man the way. Uh -huh. Before before Jesus, what did they used to do? They used to sacrifice animals. There was things put in place to to take all your sins. Just because you're bringing a number of points, that's yeah. like, that's the issue of salvation. But just about Jesus being so God. Just about Jesus. So does Jesus have a God? So Jesus, when you say Jesus had a God, Jesus had fellowship with his father. No, did he have a God though? Jesus, I, I can't say Jesus had a God. Okay. So Jesus fellowship with God because prayer is conversation with God. Yes, it's worshiping God. It's, worship. it's, it's, it's communication with God. When you pray, you're having a communication with God. Uh -huh. So Jesus had a communication with God in heaven. Mm -hmm. So he's going to keep having a conversation with God on you, earth. You know the, the gospel according to John? Yeah. Verse 20, chapter 17. My oh, brother, by the way. Brother, okay, brother. Yeah, let's go yeah, to yeah. the <laughs> Just to throw you off. <laughs> but you know in John 17, this is according to the Gospel of John, this is according to the Christian belief, after Jesus was crucified, his life was returned to him. Mary Magdalene comes to him. Don't worry, it's not this guy I know him more. Yeah, yeah. So Mary Magdalene comes to touch him. And Jesus says to her, Do not touch me, because I have not ascended to the Father. But tell my brothers, tell my brethren that I must ascend to my father and your father. My God and your God. So therefore this verse is saying that Jesus had a God. I want to say that, so what Jesus is describing there is he saying that 
my God. Yeah, when he says my God and your God, he's not lying there because your God is his God. Because when, when yeah, when that's they, what I said. So says, Jesus had the God. Jesus said, yeah, "Who are you? Who are you? Who are you?" Yeah. That. Have I? Have you not seen the Father? He said. Jesus said. Oh, let me get the quote. I've been amongst said, you. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Have you seen, have you seen the Father? So, yeah. so yeah. what prophet can say, if you've seen me, uh -huh. you've seen the Father. Uh -huh. if, if what, about the, that, what about the Father is greater than I? Sorry? The Father is greater than I. Yeah, the because you've got the will. Uh, yeah. so it's only the Father's will. Jesus is here to fulfill the Father's will. Like he said in the, in the Garden of Gethsemane, he said that, let it not be my will, but your will be done. Why? Because he's here on Can the someone Father's overpower will. the will of God? Because for us, we would say, we would say that is a clear proof that Jesus is not God. When you say that God wills something and then another entity willed something, but one will overpowered the other one, one had to submit to the other one's will, that one that submitted can Christ never be God. What, the purpose of why Christ came on earth was to die. Uh, he, that's that's a love. separate issue. That's a so, separate issue. So if his will, uh, if the Father's will, because he said that he sent his word, he sent his word. So can so God the, die? The, the, so can the God word. die then? If his if his will was if his, if his purpose was to die, Jesus. Well, what was his purpose to die? His flesh died because we don't believe death. We don't believe death is the end. Uh -huh. And I know in Islam we don't believe death is the yeah, end. Yeah, of course, of course. So if you say the flesh died, yeah, the flesh died, and what happened? But didn't the word become flesh? The word became flesh. So the, the word, but the word was will. the word was with God. The word was God, the word, and the word, the word became, became flesh. flesh yeah. Yeah. You understand the problem here? Yeah, there's no problem. There. The problem. Jesus has a God. Jesus submitted to the will of God, and Jesus died. For us, this is it, it can never be God. But that's the thing, though. If I was to explain, yeah, you can't. God to you. Yeah, He's not God. You understand that? If you can explain to me your God, then you can't be God. I, I can. You can't explain the, because the full, because the awesomeness the, of God, the, the full, the, not, the full our might, mind cannot yeah, comprehend. Yeah. But there's a slight difference. Mm -hmm. There's a slight difference because there's a difference between being able to comprehend mm -hmm. the fullness of God. Obviously, the human being can't do that. Of course not. Yeah. But can we describe him? Yes. And also, let me just finish. And what we're talking about here, we're not talking about comprehension. We're talking about a contradiction. Mm -hmm. Okay. When we say that God is the first without a beginning and he's the last without an end. God is eternal, he always existed. Yeah. Yeah. This is me describing God. Okay. Can I as a human being fully fathom it? No. But I've described God. But but so, but, but, but when you but when you but when you say that Jesus died and when you're saying that Jesus had to submit his will to the will of the Father or the will of God when you say that Jesus prayed when you say that Jesus when you say that Jesus died here we're not talking about comprehension we're talking about all of these things are a contradiction dying praying submitting your will all of these are a contradiction to saying that someone is God not necessarily not necessarily no if we're going to go through comprehension, Jesus literally said, yeah, yeah. Father, glorify me uh, with the glory I had with you, with you yeah. before the world began. Uh, in John, in John saying, uh, 17. Yes. Yeah. He's there. What's he saying there? Can God be given glory from by someone else? God says that he doesn't share his he doesn't glory, share glory with anyone. So if Jesus uh, had the glory before uh, the world began, yeah. then that means... No, no. God's not a liar. If he just doesn't share his glory with anyone, with anyone. can... Can, Jesus is part of his essence. Can can yes. God receive glory from someone else? Like for example, you glorify God. Yeah. But, but here we're here we're talking about status. Are you are you saying that God he he lost part of his attributes of godliness and then he, he was given them back later? In, in the doctrine of the Trinity, yeah. the reason why we believe that he lowered the Bible literally uh -huh. spells it out, he lowered himself, uh -huh. he lowered to, 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 the, to the position of even a servant. Yes. Yeah. And this was this was um it's the whole the answer to most of these questions is literally the doctrine of the incarnation. Uh -huh. The moment you understand the incarnation, it, it refutes literally every other every other question that is to be answered. See but then you're then you're saying then it's a contradiction. I'll say it's a contradiction because you're contradicting the fact that God is eternal. When you, he's, he's, a, he's eternal as God and 
The necessity of God is to be, uh, to have his names and his attributes, to be all-powerful, almighty, all-knowing. If, if something is not all-powerful, if something is not almighty, if something is not all-knowing, this is not God. So when you're saying that God lowered himself and then he was, his status was raised again, this is not God. But we, but we, but we understand. Why? You understand because, my point? Because his, because I, I'm not saying you, you agree, but do you understand my point? I understand okay, your point. Yeah. But the, the doctrine of, of Christianity is that the, the word of God, uh, which was with God, yeah. Yeah, but he lowered himself into, into man's flesh for a mission, for a purpose. So at uh, that point, yeah. he has been lowered himself. He stripped himself of his glory. So at that time he wasn't God? It's not that he wasn't no, God. It's not that he wasn't he was God incarnate. So he was God without the attributes of God. So he was he was God without the attributes of God. He's God. No. Sorry. Because God on earth, the, the Father on earth, like when Moses when Moses yeah. went to the mountain, one of the Egyptians, yeah. and God spoke down on the mountain. Yeah. He said, God, please speak through Moses, because his voice is true. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So God had to lower himself to a man. So that no, he the same way God no. Allah enters the seventh heaven. Uh -huh. yeah. He can't uh -huh. enter. Yeah, it's the same way. That, he that's the creation. Happens. See what happens. So, what happens? So that means creation uh -huh. can continue. One point in time. So what, exactly. what, happen, yeah, what happens? Yeah, is, yeah. But I'm saying that it's it's a way it's of Allah lessening himself. Similar. No, to enter. It's, similar. it's not. It's not. See, so, I'll come to that. See, the thing is, when when someone's a Trinitarian, they begin to read the Old Testament with uh, Trinitarian eyes. And they will see things. Yes. The, the, the Jews uh, spoke of a two, um, two powers in heaven. Uh, this was in the um, Old Testament as well. Yeah, so um, the, the complete no, no, nature, no, no, the complete no, nature no, of the God. No. God. It would be nice if I could finish it, just a no. sentence. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean, I'm happy no to problem. Take, no know, problem. No problem. Yeah. But it's like the, 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 uh, the, this was depicted throughout the whole uh, um, um, the Old Testament as well uh, in, in what you what your Torah is. Uh, like it was depicted in there where there were two powers to the point where um, the the. The Old Testament literally says, and Yahweh from rain down fire and uh -huh. from Yahweh in heaven. Uh -huh. So these things, it, it, it's not, they're not minced words. They, uh -huh. they know what they said when they said it. They may not fully understand it because God in his infinite wisdom and might, you, you can't necessarily uh -huh. fathom what that meant. Uh -huh. But it was what was written and it was what was understood. And what, what we try to do is try to use human logic to understand who God is. If you can, like you're saying, uh -huh. Allah is one. Well, I'm one. So, it, it, what, what, how does that make any difference from what Allah is to me? If the, the fact that the Trinity makes more sense is because uh -huh. to, the, 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 He's not like us. He's not like us. So, on, in that yeah. point, Can yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. See, the thing is, you mentioned another point, a number of points. But even when you say God is one, yeah, He is uniquely one. Like, for, for example, this, let me give you an example. I'm alive. Okay. Obviously, we're all alive. God is alive. He's the ever living. He's, he's the ever living. Even in the, the book of Daniel, it says Hayul Qayyum. It says that he is the ever living, the self subsistent. Yeah, ever living, not, yes. not the last one. Yeah. The last ever living, so he's alive. But we're not ever living. No, 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 no. But, but, yeah. My point was. I'm alive, God is alive. Yeah. But our, our but life, an but our life, life, yeah, our yeah. life, there's nothing uh, beyond that, the name, which has any similarity. Like my life depends upon air to breathe, I was born, I'm going to die, etc. Uh, I need to eat food, etc. etc. My life is limited. But when we talk about the Creator, which we agree upon, He is uh, self subsistent. He doesn't have a beginning, He doesn't have an end. So His life and my life is different. When we say that, for example, God is hearing and I'm hearing. There's a similarity in the words, but the reality is completely different. So even when we say one, when we talk about the oneness of the Creator, yes, our, our, our oneness is different. Like for example, you introduce yourself as twins. Obviously, we all have parents. Now, it's, it's possible that someone can come in a room and see a lady and see a man and say, I'm sure that's your mum and dad because you look the same, you talk the same, you've got certain mannerisms. So there's, even when you say that you're one person, you're one person, you still share characteristics of other people. But when we say God is one, it's a, it's a completely unique one. But, but, to say, but to say that he's a one in the Trinity, therefore is different, 
it's, it's a strange argument. So what, what, what do you do with the other aspects of Allah that, that is similar to humanity? Uh -huh. like when it speaks of his body parts, for instance, uh -huh. like saying that, oh, he will be seen on the, uh -huh. on the last days, yeah. or he will reveal himself in a shape that they won't recognise, and then uh -huh. he will then reveal yeah. himself in a shape that they do recognise, uh -huh. and then they will recognise him. You've done, you done your part. homework. Huh? Yeah, you've done your yeah, homework. Yeah, so yeah. he said that he will reveal uh -huh. his shin and yeah. so forth. There's body parts to uh -huh. Allah that is way more than just him being one and me being one. Okay. There's, so there's these, these things... How, how, do, how, do you do, how, would you, how would you deal with that in the Bible? How would we do that in the Bible? Yeah. We, are made in, we are made in God's image and likeness. Uh -huh. So we believe here yeah, that what, what, uh -huh. who God is, yeah. he, has, he, has, he has kind of given onto, onto us so, so when some you, of his attributes. So when, we, can, we can take part uh -huh. in, like, God is all merciful, God is all good. These are just yes. words that we use to describe um, actions and, yes. and things. God is the source of that. Uh -huh. That's the reason why we can say yeah. these things. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So we are, we, we are basically, I don't, I don't know how to best explain it, but he has put these characteristics in us and this is how we know that we, um, we are of him because he has uh -huh. given us these, uh -huh. um, these attributes to take part in, like mercy, okay. like, like being able to tell uh -huh. the truth, like being good, uh -huh. like these things. Only God is these all these things, and He's given these things onto us, uh -huh. and we're, that's how we're made in His image and likeness. Okay, okay. Yeah. So in the concept of Islam, they don't have that concept of being made in Allah's image. So when Allah wait, depicts wait, wait. Himself with okay, images okay. of humans, one minute, one minute. That's you, you, made, you made a couple of points. Yeah. See, the position of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah of, of the Muslims in this is three things. We affirm for Allah whatever He affirms for Himself. So how He describes Himself, we affirm it for Allah. And how? Let me let me finish. Let me finish. And how the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam described Him. That's the first thing. Second, we negate for Allah whatever He negates for Himself and His Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And then third, in this, we make no likeness to the creation. Okay. So the thing is. All of the just repeat that last point again. And the third thing is Laysa Kamithli Hishay. We don't make any likeness to the creation. What's that what do you mean by that? So as, as I said, for example, when we say that Allah affirms that He's living, He's Al Hay, we affirm this for Allah. Because Allah mentioned this, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned this. But this life, we don't make any likeness to his creation's life. But like, ten minutes ago, you told me. Uh, ten minutes ago, you told me when I told uh, you I can't describe my God. Uh, yeah. Because if you could understand, describe him, you wouldn't be God. You said uh, that you can describe him through. Um, yeah, this is describing him. Yeah. So, but I told but Allah you, has some no, no. descriptions as well. No, no. But I told, I told you we can describe the Creator, but there's a difference between comprehending mm -hmm. and a contradiction. But, but Allah yeah. has So I'm, I'm saying when, when you say that when you say that that God is all powerful and you say that Jesus is God, but then God is weak, and then Jesus is weak. When you say God is the Almighty and Jesus is God, but Jesus has to submit to God. When you say that God is the all living, but then you affirm that Jesus dies. When when for example, you know the I'm sure you come across the argument when Jesus is asked about the hour. And he says that no one knows the hour, no angels in heaven, yeah, not that, the sun, yeah, only the father. Uh, that's, that's, uh, yeah. that's easy. You have to be careful. That you, when you're quoting, when you're quoting the yeah. scripture, you have to realize that uh -huh. um, even in First Corinthians, yeah. when Paul says, "I chose to know nothing uh -huh. except for Christ and Him crucified," the word yeah. "know" yeah. doesn't mean ignorance. So, it so means that he. Uh -huh. I'll just explain. Yeah. It means that. He chooses, although retaining that information because he's a Pharisee, uh -huh. he chose to put that aside uh -huh. and, and just simply preach Christ and him crucified. So when uh -huh. Jesus says that um, no one knows the hour, the word no would be closely related Not the to sun the field. Or any because, angels in heaven. Because, yeah, neither angels in heaven or just the Father. Uh -huh. And plus, um, you have to understand that when Christ was saying that also, um, about the time, the hour of his, uh, yeah. his coming, yeah. In Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke yeah. 21, he yeah. continues to give details about uh -huh. the, uh, about the, um, the events that would happen before his coming. Did Jesus? So did, but, but the, the yeah. problem with this argument is, yeah. when you go to the the Gospel according to Luke, Jesus increased in knowledge of God. So is it all right if I record as well? Yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. How did he increase? If, if you're saying that when it when it when it attributes to Jesus that he did not know the hour. And you're saying that he knew, but he chose not to mention it or not to reveal it. 
How do you, so that means he's all knowing, but you're saying that this is just an expression, but he did know when the hour is. Even yeah, though he said yeah. that the sun doesn't know the hour, but you're saying this is just an expression. Uh, it's just an expression. How, 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 did, how did Jesus yeah. increase in knowledge of God? Right, so being in the likeness of man, yeah. right? Yeah. Being born as a, as yeah. a, as a, as a, in the flesh as a man. Yeah. We have to do what? We have to grow uh, in knowledge regardless. But something happened, especially uh, when, he, uh, when he was baptized. Do you, do you understand the connection between the two? I understand. I understand. You're, you're, Lola, when, when Jesus is saying that, that the son doesn't know the hour, yeah. your response was quite confident that this means that Jesus did know, but he's using an expression yeah. say that he's not going to let people know. But then when I went to Luke, that Jesus increased in knowledge. Yeah. You didn't use the same argument. Now you're now you're attributing attributed the fact that he was human. But when he was human, according to you, wasn't he fully God? When he was human, he was, was he fully, fully God? God? Fully man. But yeah, that's the thing because we don't just uh -huh. say he's just fully God. He was fully man as well. Yeah. So, but at the so same time, as a, as a, as at the a, same as time, man, like, this is what Philippians two says uh -huh. that. Although being yeah. in the in human flesh, right? Yeah. Although yeah. being found as, as a man, yeah. he took the form of a servant. Do you know what that means? So he so he didn't just, just no, no, but he didn't he, so he didn't increase in knowledge. No, no, just really quickly, I'm yeah. answering yeah. your question. Uh -huh. So when it says that he he was yeah. found, he yeah. was originally in the form of God, but he made that, that's, that's your word. No, that's your word. That's your word. It's in Philippians two. If you read it, it's, it says it that he was well. he was in the form of God. He was in the form of God before, and he was God or in the form of God. Uh -huh. So we have to understand, yeah. to become something means that's not your original state. Uh -huh. He chose to become that for a purpose uh -huh. of fulfilling scripture. And he said uh -huh. that numerous times during his ministry, uh -huh. that um, he's come to fulfill the law, come to fulfill the prophecies about uh -huh. him. Right? So we have to be careful in, 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 in the way, I think, in the way um, like Muslims understand the scripture, like a lot of times you guys pull things, but you don't understand like um, the entirety of scripture and why uh -huh. Christ came in the first place. No, 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 look, for look. example, if I was to ask you yeah. why is Jesus the Messiah, uh -huh. what, like what in the Quran would give us substance of why he's the Messiah? See, see, I, I don't know if it's intentional, but we're on one point. What we're saying is that God, in order to be God, he has certain names, he has certain attributes which are eternal. So he's eternally all-knowing. So when I mentioned about the, the issue of not knowing the hour, you're saying that he did know the hour, even though he said that the sun doesn't know the hour. So here, I would say your belief, your belief is, is necessitating how you interpret Jesus' words, even, even though it would appear literally Jesus saying the opposite of what you're saying, because you're saying that he did know that he chose not to relieve, re reveal it. But the problem is in Luke, when Jesus increased in knowledge, you don't use the same argument. You don't say that he did know everything, but he's just saying he's, he, he hasn't revealed everything. That's why he's increasing in knowledge. Yeah. So it, it's, it's a contradiction. Not necessarily. Yeah. I think you're too quick to use the term contradiction. Yeah. Again, um, we know that prior before his incarnation, yeah. according to scripture, yeah. he was the Logos, the word before. Right, so he did have a form of godliness before, and you are about to pull up the scripture. If you if you could do that, that would give you Which you guys one? a more un, um, better understanding of the uh -huh. position. So Philippians two, if you bring up Philippians two, uh -huh. it tells you that Christ actually pre-existed before his incarnation, before he's found in flesh. Now, being found in flesh, he will grow. He needs to eat. He needs to use the the, the rest. Of these are things. These are human. Uh -huh. These are things that. Can I just we, say I don't know just much about sorry, Philippians, sorry. but is is the. Is, Who's the main writer of the Philippians? Uh, again, we're going to text. Is, we don't really need to go... Is this Paul? No, because if it is, because... Yes, it is. This, this Paul. Ah. See, if you look at Romans yeah. 3, 7, he, he himself, Paul says that if I was to praise God and talk of his greatness, and I lie about it, well, then what's wrong with it? Uh, no, and it's just If you pull that out, Romans we'll 3, 7... We'll come to that. We'll come to that. His point is... But let's 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 do this. Let's do this. all that you're talking about, bro. And then we'll come back to that point. His point is, is Paul reliable? Um, yes, I think he's even more reliable than Mohammed, to be honest. But, yeah, let's, but, let's but he himself is actually saying that if I lie, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, no, I don't I mean, agree. lying, there's everything I, I, I wrong think, with lying, I think, bro. I think what you're doing is you are like, you're misinterpreting the text anyway. But that's and like, we can pull it out. We can pull it out. We can pull it out. So, Philippians 2, and we'll go to that. No problem. Before that, before that, before that, if the truth of God have more abounded through my lie unto his glory, why yet am I judged as a sinner? So you've gone to... Uh, yeah, I mean, this is what he mentioned, yeah. 
So forget Philippines too, let's go. So we're dealing with your point now. Okay, cool. No, but let's, because no, let's look, look, my, my point is, is that if, if he can lie, if he can lie about God, God then why can't he lie about Jesus? Because yeah, Jesus never said anywhere. Let's bring the context, yeah, the context yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I'm just saying, Jesus never said anywhere on his first mission here that I've come to pay the price for what Adam did. You know, no way did he say that himself. This is all the saying of Paul. And if Paul's saying himself that he's lying about God, and he's saying there's nothing wrong with that, then what else is he lying about? You know, think about it. If anyone wants to lie to one another, I'll feel about it. Or our family members, your wife. I hear what you're saying, but then again, lying is a thing. Lying is a thing that tears apart everything in just, Islam. I think you, sometimes you have to deny your faith. Um, um, when when it's necessary to well, 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 to what lie about well, life, 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 life and death. Exactly. But that's life. Exactly. If, if someone has a sword what, what over your neck, what's this? What's this? What's this? Life and death. No, no, no. So where was where was his life in danger when he was saying this? You understand? That's my point there as well. He's just saying it for the sake of it, and and it's like one so great. We don't need to lie about it. No, you have to be careful as well when you're reading Paul, because the scriptures are very clear that even Paul, Peter says this that when you're reading Paul, he uses certain phraseology. Yeah. Right, certain terminology yeah. Yeah. that if you're not careful, you can misunderstand what he's saying. There's there's actually, Peter says this I, quite, I quite clearly. Where right right does Peter say it? Sorry? Is it second Peter or first? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm going to have to bring in the scripture. But I don't, I don't I'm not, to not, not to go in this, but you know... We're going somewhere. No, 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 no problem, sorry, sorry. Away. No, no but problem. I think the first point the first point we we haven't covered yet is that Jesus had a God. Sorry? I think the first point brought up was Jesus had a God. Sorry. No, no, sorry, sorry. No, he's, he's God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. The first point we brought up was that Jesus himself had a God. I well, see we're moving again. Uh, from the, no, no, so but that was that was that was that was that was mentioned earlier. That was uh, yeah. I wasn't here. Uh -huh. um, so what does the Bible say about Jesus having a God? It's very clear um, when you read um, Hebrews. Yeah. It says that um, God calls him God. Uh -huh. Right. So God says Who wrote about Hebrews? the Son. Uh, why are we going to uh, the who wrote? We're, no, because it's it, the Bible it, that we believe, right? No, no, we're but, from the but, Bible. But who, but who so wrote, we, who wrote to Hebrews? Either the Bible as yeah. a whole. You can't pick and choose and say who wrote this and who that. No, no, no. We accept the Bible as a whole. Okay, okay. So when you're dealing with a point, no, 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 no. No, but if you if you're going to quote something, because yeah. look, I'll tell you how we understand the Bible. You're probably aware. Mm -hmm. We understand that Jesus, Moses, David, peace be upon him, they received revelation. If I was to take you, yeah. The hadiths as a yeah, whole, yeah. Because I know sometimes you got weak hadiths, yeah, yeah. Hassan hadith, you got this hadith. Uh -huh. If I say the hadith is a hadith, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And every hadith is, is authentic. Because uh -huh. I'll come across some that says you can't take that hadith. That's a weak hadith. Okay, okay but let me finish my point. So, let me, so no, let's no, take no, the Bible as a whole. No, no, no. Otherwise, no. I can take the hadith See, look, as a whole. The thing is, you know what I'm saying? We, we, I can no, no. Some hadith okay. that. But we have a criteria no. when it comes to the Bible. No, no. Look, but we have a, when it comes to the Bible, we have a criteria. We believe that these messengers received revelation, but we are saying what they have now, what the Jews and the Christians have now, is a corrupted text. But no problem. The no problem. No problem. No problem. You have to give us proof of this. Proof 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 proof. Proof. Yeah. No, 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 no problem. Just, just, just let, just let me make, just yeah, let yeah, me make my point. Yeah, yeah, so, as as Muslims, we judge the the previous revelations or the the books of the Bible. We judge by the Quran. If we find something in an agreement with Quran, we will accept it. If we find it opposed by the Quran, we reject it. So, okay, so we work backwards to that. Uh -huh. So the Mahaman would be yeah. the Quran, right? Yes. So you guys work backwards to us, because uh -huh. the foundation uh -huh. for us yeah. is the Torah. If it, do, if it doesn't align with the Torah, if it uh -huh. doesn't align with the Bible, uh -huh. the Bible gives us a criteria to work with, okay. which Muhammad doesn't fit. That's okay. why the Jews so, and Christians so, kind of so where reject is, him. Where so, does the, so, yeah. so when you say the Torah, do, do, do you have question. the Torah given to Moses? I just want to ask one yeah. question. Real quick. Yes, no problem. Does the truth come before the lie or the lie comes before the truth? Does God tell the truth or does he speak a word uh -huh. and, it, and it ends up corrupted before he says, oh, I've got to fix it and then bring uh, uh, something com completely in opposition after? Because I don't see that. I don't see that's the way God works. I see God as making the foundation strong, uh -huh. the Torah strong, which is, and then and then warning about lies to come uh -huh. afterwards. Or angels coming preaching okay. a gospel contrary. What caused what caused you to take that that's approach? What the, the, what, that's, okay, that's what, what why, okay, what what if I said the way I see it yeah. is that when something is pure and then it becomes corrupted, then God will send another messenger 
to clarify but that which is right and wrong. Be corrupted. That's, that's a let, let, me fin let me finish. Let me finish. Then God will send someone to clarify. Now, you you presented your point. Yeah. Why does your point have more uh, ba more weight than yeah. mine? Yeah. But can yeah. Allah's yeah. word be contradictable because He confirms uh -huh. what the, ha that the people of the book uh -huh. have. He confirms it. No. And plus, He never said they changed uh -huh. the text. He said that they twist no. their words. No. He never said they oh, changed the text. It, they, they speak it, they twist it. We, we had this so, conversation that already means, today with someone else. Yeah. Uh -huh. They confirm what we have okay. in our hands. Because even more, Muhammad okay. confirms what we have in our hands. Okay. If you haven't got the original text to show okay. us that this is the original and you don't have the faith, then it just. It, it just Okay. It, it just contradictions that you're saying. Okay. There's no sustainable fact. Do you, do you believe the first five books of the Bible are what was given to Moses and what you have today, the Jews and the Christians have in your hands today, is uh, preserved until this day what was given to Moses? Well, yeah, we believe so. And the reason why is because we have manuscripts like the Dead Scrolls. We also have, you, you have, uh, you have manuscripts. Yeah. Also, the but biggest one is that Jesus was quoting from the Old Testament. He was quoting no, no. From the, the, or, the authors of the New Testament said Jesus quoted. Yeah. yeah. So when you said you have manuscripts, from, correct me if I'm wrong, what I understand is the earliest uh, manuscripts of the Old Testament are from the Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, yeah, that's, we have the Dead Sea Scrolls. They're the, they're the earliest. The they're the earliest. Then, um, but that's also, a, also, but that's, a, that's a thousand years after Moses. Yeah, we know that. We know so, that. So, so, when is your first, so when is your first manuscript of the Dead Sea Scrolls, of the Moses? When, when's the first manuscript you have of the... Oh, so lot of times. Sorry. Talking about manuscripts, you're talking about um, what it was written on. A lot of people write yeah. it on. Um, you know, I don't even think pap papyrus was a thing at the time of Moses. They would write on animal skins and even on uh, stones and things like that. Things that really don't last as long. Excuse me. So one, 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 well. one minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. Okay, go on, go on. The conversation didn't finish. We didn't get anywhere. But. Yeah. It's prayer time. Oh. Can I be excused? Yeah, yeah, no worries, man. Maybe we'll continue oh, no, another day. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I mean, we'll, we'll be back in 20 minutes, but you don't have to wait, obviously. No we'll we'll still be here. If you're around, so no problem. Every Saturday. Thank you. But we'll be back in about 20 minutes. We'll, we'll be, we just got here, so we'll probably be around. Okay, okay no problem. No problem. Did you ask for me? I asked for Mustafa. Oh, okay. So Mustafa is here, sorry. Yeah, Mustafa is here. Yeah.